Uh, Scott in Traverse, is it Michigan? Traverse City, Michigan. Hey, how you doing today? Good, thanks. Hey, Scott. Is it Matt, John, hi guys. Hey, hey. I'm assuming you can hear us just fine. I can hear you just fine, yes. Can Perfect. Can you hear me okay? I, yeah. Great. What do you want to talk about? Wonderful. Um, I want to talk about God and morality, I guess. Well, I wanted to talk about your debate with Cy, and uh, I wanted I'd rather to not. Um, ask a hypothetical question. Let's say it was an audience member asking Cy a question, and of course you could chime in too, and I thought you might have some some insight into what Cy's answer might be on a question. All right, I'll try. You can, yes. Yeah, I'll try to be Cy. Um, there, now, there's this perspective that while well, punishment um, may be necessary to modify people's behavior, so therefore they connect better so for the well-being of other people. Um, it's not, you know, punishment for the sake of punishment is not logical. Um, there is, you know, there's the concept of forgiveness. There is, you know, um, Tibetan monks who have forgiven their Chinese torturers. Um, and it seems that the God that Sai believes in is kind of on the opposite end of that spectrum. And my question to Sai, you know, I word that briefly and then ask him, you know, Sai, do, um, do you believe, why do you believe God is like this? Um, and do you believe that's a good thing? It's, it's by it's definition good because God is good. And um, whether or not God is like that, I don't do Bible studies with professed atheists. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that would be about the the, the, um, the extent of it? That that would well, be his answer. That is the answer <laughs> he's given repeatedly. Uh, All right, you've so, been asked that question, you know, in so many words. Yeah. Right. Well, it, so one of the things is that you can frame it in the sense of punishment. You you can talk about punishment for its own sake. Is it necessary? But really, the way people are viewing this, and to kind of ask your answer your question about why Christians and others are okay with this idea of a God who's basically doling out punishment is that what, in, from their point of view, what he's doling out is justice. Um, right. And I don't understand but, the idea of eternal torture as being just in any way, but not everybody believes that. For example, you know, you go to Billy Graham, he doesn't believe there's a, there's a literal hell for me to go to. Um, good. It's, he's an advocate of annihilation theory. He, you know, hell is separation from God eternal, and maybe you cease to exist, or maybe you're off in some void somewhere or what. Um, you can look at anything as punishment. I mean, you can even look at like a karmic system where, you, you know, you're going to be reborn as some lesser form, which already I have just mountains of problems with, yeah, ir irrespective of whether, it's, it's not, not a matter of whether I believe in it, it's whether or not I think right. that it's, that what they're advocating is even remotely just. And, well, that's what I'm saying. And you end up with ca caste systems and things mm -hmm. like that, uh, where these people are a lower order of people and then, you know, if you're sufficiently bad, instead of com coming back as a lower order of people, you come back as, you know, an insect or a plant or whatever else. I don't know. None of it makes any sense. No, it does not. To me. All right. Thank you. I, I, I guess I was hoping Sai's answer would be different. I was hoping to corner him with that question, but uh, he seems to have a... You can't corner Sai. He's completely circular. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, I watched the debate. It was... It was um, frustrating, but uh, it, you know, entertaining at the same time. I told you I should have brought that drum kit. We could have got a rim shot in for that one. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for the call, Scott. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much, Matt. John, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. Cool. All right.